flying through these tasks, guys. So, paint cloud bath bombs. Yeah, uh, aw. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit more laid back. Kale is out of the house. He's off running errands. He's picking up a huge package um, from New Directions Aromatics, which is a Canadian soap supplier. And they're actually located very close to us, so which is super convenient because we can go zip down there and pick up packages and not have to pay for shipping. But I thought since he's out of the house, I can show you all of my errands that I have to do today, business related errands that is. And I thought I would take you along. So if you want to see what a day in the life is like for a soap and bath bomb business owner, then keep watching. <laughs> so I just got my shot today and I thought that I wasn't going to be affected by it. It did hurt a little bit, but I got home that's my coffee, by the way. I did get home and sat down on the couch and zonked out for an hour. I was so tired. So there's an hour of my day gone, napping, and I have so much to do. So hopefully this coffee is gonna help me wake up a little bit so I can get going on my long list of stuff to do. Um, I should probably write out a list to keep myself on track. I never write lists. I'm not an organized person, but I think I'm gonna try that today and see how much things on that list I can get done. We'll see. Ah, oh, microwave coffee. <laughs> so things on my list that I need to do. I need to cut the soap that I made yesterday. I made an orange patchouli and rosemary mint soap. I need to wash all of those dishes. I have to dip some donut bath bombs in icing. <laughs> I need to paint cloud bath bombs. I need to make lotion. There is a lot that I need to do, and I also got an exciting package in the mail that I want to share with you guys. So I really, really got to get going on that. Let's get started. So I'm going to write this list. First thing, write the list. I need a, it's just a scrap piece of paper, but I really want to start moving forward and taking steps to being more organized. Maybe get myself a pad of paper, like, like a list pad of paper. You guys watch those mommy vlogs <laughs> where you see these incredible women and they just clean their entire houses and they take care of their kids and they run their YouTube uh, channels and you think I don't know how they do it either but they always they seem to like their lists so maybe if I start making lists I can be more like them I don't know to do lists and then you see these other people who are super organized and they they make their lists look so good like they have markers and they doodle on them and they have such perfect penmanship and you think wow I've got to start somewhere maybe if I keep doing this it'll get better cut soap make lotion dip donuts that is a delicious item on the list but it's actually bath bomb donuts <laughs> It's been hard for me to to parcel at the time to take pictures of them and that's the only thing preventing me from selling them online. I have been selling them at my farmer's markets and for those of you wondering, they are selling so good. People love these donuts and because of the work involved and the, the size of them, they are huge. I've been selling them at double the price of my rounds and I was a little nervous about doing that but then I shouldn't have had to worry because people buy them at that price. And it's just reinforcing the idea of charging what you think you're worth and don't let um, fear of something not selling prevent you from pricing it at something that you you know it's worth that and you can justify the cost of that. And yeah, as long as it feels true to you, you should just do that. <laughs> so those donut bath bombs have been selling really well. I had to make more, I have to get them on the site. So it's on the list, dip donuts, <laughs> add to paint, more cloud bath bombs. Those are also selling really well. I am finding, to my surprise actually, that the bath bombs that are different shapes, they are selling really well where I live at my farmer's markets. People seem to really like the novelty of the different shapes. So very, very surprised and pleased about that. So pink cloud bombs, 
what else do I have to do today? I'm gonna put on here make soap because I need to make more soap. And mm, mm, mm. well, this is a good list. I have five things. Oh, uh, show you guys my uh, thing, my package. <laughs> show you guys a package. Unbox package. Cool. All right, let's get going. Kale will probably be home before I even start this stuff, so let's get to it. So here's one of the soaps that I made last night. This is my orange patchouli soap. So in love with our orange patchouli soap, but I did change it a little bit actually. I've added this calendula on top and I have added to the essential oil blend to make my um, orange patchouli soap a little bit more unique. I have found that people who have been taking a lot of inspiration from my branding, they always um, have that orange patchouli soap and I'm thinking, you know what, I gotta make mine stand out a little bit more. And so that's what I've done. And I've been slowly doing that to my other items. I don't know if you have noticed, but I have been making the effort to tweak things that I have been noticing other people have been really pulling <laughs> from my brand. And you know, it's at the end of the day, I decided to stop stressing about that because it's gonna happen no matter what. I just need to continue evolving and uh, my friend who works as a consultant for businesses put it really well where he said Companies just don't have time. They don't have the manpower to focus on negative things like that And that is if it's true for huge corporations. It's definitely true for small business owners like myself I have no time. I'm not even gonna worry about it I'm just going to focus on my company and my brand and just make it so that I can't be um, copyable and I think that's advice that I want to give you guys too unless of course they're blatantly stealing my pictures that is just I can't don't steal my pictures <laughs> but um, when it comes to you know people's branding and even if they plagiarize my wording I can't I can't do that like I squash one ten more will pop up so freeing up some mental space of that and just yeah my life has been a lot easier since then, let me tell you that. And a little update on my my thoughts on the Winston and Walter molds, which are these tall and skinny molds. I, I love them. I cannot say enough how amazing these molds are and how, how much my business has improved from making my soaps in this new shape. People just absolutely love them. And it's been really nice to not add more parchment paper to my waste basket. It's so great to just clean the silicone liner, reuse it again and again. And I'm actually now considering buying another two more because I cannot keep up with production with the amount of soap that I have to make. I only have two of these molds. So if I get another two, then I can increase my production to um, at least four loaves a day and I'm getting there to that point where I need to start doing that because as busy as it is now it is just gonna get busier and busier from this point on as we inch closer and closer to fall and then Christmas so these are the things that are going through my mind right now as early as June I'm already thinking about fall so this is my technique for unmolding uh, <laughs> my tall and skinny soaps from this mold I sand it up like this and I release the soap from the edges and then I also release the soap from the two sides and I don't know if you saw that but I I pull it down so that it goes it pops from both ends and so I put it up like this I pull it back I pull the soap forward and I inch it forward and there you go I am a patchouli fan I know that it's very What's the word? It's very polarizing. People either love or hate it, but I find it so earthy and soothing. I think I am when it comes to my soaps. I love the essential oil soaps way more than my fragrance oil soaps. And when it comes to fragrance oil, I think I prefer floral and light as opposed to fruity and citrus. So I, I'm really glad that this particular soap, Orange Patchouli, is popular because I love making it. I love smelling it. <laughs> and it's just such a beautiful soap in general. What if the world had more of your smile? What 
if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. The most satisfying part of making soap is cutting it in my opinion oh my god that smells amazing all right cross it off the list <laughs> i've added a new item to my list clean dishes and this is why it deserves its own item on the list <laughs> i have got to clean these oh and the soap dishes from the other night ta-da all clean and guess what i get to take another item off the list yes so another thing that i've changed about my products i have updated my lotion recipe and the reason why i did that is as good as it was it was almost too light it wasn't hydrating enough and so i have changed the formula to be pretty much perfect. It almost feels like a body butter. It's, it's a lot thicker, but it applies that moisture amazingly and absorbs quickly like a lotion. So best of both worlds. I think it's going to do really well. It already has been doing really well, but now I'm also debating about the packaging of my lotions because of the fact that lotions make your hands kind of slippery. I have noticed the lids of my jars are, it's hard to screw them back on. So I might be thinking of switching the packaging on my lotions sometime soon, although I love, love, love the look of the lotions in the jars. That might be a packaging tweak I will have to make down the road. So these are all things that I'm, that are going on in my mind right now, all the decisions that I have to make. But really excited about this recipe. I was originally using a brambleberry lotion recipe that I really liked and it's super, light and it absorbs really quickly. This recipe has a little bit more of a sophisticated formulation and I'm using some really exciting ingredients in it like allantoin and what else am I using in it? Allantoin, there's glycerin in there now. Of course there's always going to be hemp seed oil in it but I'm now including shea butter in this recipe where as my old recipe did not so it definitely has more moisturizing properties and I'm also including panthenol in it and some extract. It's it's gonna be good guys, it's gonna be good. It's definitely an upgrade from my original recipe. Um, that's one thing I've been doing also as the summer is going on is looking at my formulations and seeing what I can improve about them and just learning, <laughs> learning, learning, learning. Because I'm not the type of person where I make something and it's good and if it sells, we're done. I have to be constantly looking on ways to make something better and i know for a fact the lotion recipe needed improvement i knew for a fact that the sugar scrub recipe needed an improvement um there are other products that i'm thinking about in my head and new products that i want to make so that is another thing that is taking up a lot of my time is is that aspect of it because every time you tweak a recipe every time you change it you have to change the labels <laughs> you have to change the website listings you have to change the picture sometimes. It's just, it's crazy. <laughs> so uh, I gotta make these lotions and get that other item off of that list. That'll feel pretty good once I do that, I think. <laughs> Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching on nothing.
So my emulsifiers and oils are on the stove and same with my water. I'm gonna let them heat up to, um, I think it's, yeah, 158. And then once they reach that temperature, you hold them at that temperature for I think about 20 minutes and then we blend them together. So in the downtime while those are cooling down, I'm gonna start my donut dipping cocoa butter and baking soda drizzle mix and then cross that off my list because that has been on my list for a while too. Let's do it. <laughs> So while my cocoa butter is melting, I'm going to tackle these two guys. We are going to paint all of these bath bombs and get them ready for orders. Right, Jiki? So here are the finished bath bombs and just in time because my cocoa butter is now fully melted and I can move on to my next task. So excited. I'm just flying through these tasks, guys. So paint cloud bath bombs. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> so here are my donuts. Here is my glaze. And if you're wondering how I came up with the icing recipe, there's so many online. And for me, I just got my desired consistency just by adding baking soda slowly, um, little by little over time. And one thing I would recommend if you are gonna be making any bath bomb with cocoa butter drizzle, and you're gonna add some sort of sprinkle on top, have your sprinkles at the ready because this stuff dries really fast, like super fast. So I'm gonna get to dipping. Let's start with this guy. He's our first dipping candidate. I'm gonna go for the double dip. Oh, that's just so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Look at that, just the most beautiful pink glaze. And then just some sprinkles down the side. Next donut. These are so adorable. I can't get over it, they are so cute. And for those wondering, I made these using the donut mold from the bath bomb press. The bath bombs they make are so cool and look so true to life. Highly, highly recommend. Dip donuts. Yeah. So my lotions are still going and I have a little bit of time before I have to get them all blended together. So I thought I would squeeze in the un boxing or the unpackaging of this special thing that I think a lot of you guys could use in your own businesses so I'm really excited to unbox it so let's do that so here it is so guys I did a complete unboxing of this free x wi-fi thermal printer and I was thinking that this is probably a video all in itself and it would be not fair to uh put that all in this video. So I'm gonna make a dedicated video on this and that will show the entire unboxing and it will go through my thoughts and my whole review on this printer. So if you wanna check out that video, I'm not sure which of the videos is gonna come out first, probably that video, <laughs> but check it out. If I have it already, it's gonna be up here. If not, I'm pointing to nothing. <laughs> but I can't wait for you guys to see how this works and I can't wait for myself to see how it works because this will really really save some time I think when it comes to my shipping process and I'm always looking for ways to do that so 
that's exciting. Unbox package. We are just rolling along here, guys. So the last thing on my list is make soap, but I think this video is just has gone on long enough. <laughs> I think I have tons of footage that makes for a super long vlog. So I think I'm going to sign off at this point. Update on my vaccine on the arm that has been vaccinated. It is starting to feel really sore. Um, but other than that, no other side effects other than the fact that I had a nap afterwards and I felt really tired. Um, but from what I hear, it's the second day that if anything uh, super bad happens in terms of feeling flu-like symptoms, that happens on day two. So fingers crossed I don't feel those effects. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I did a lot and I'm really glad I wrote down that list because that really motivated me to do those tasks that have been lingering for so long. So I think I'm gonna keep it up. I think I wanna buy like a notepad that is a dedicated um, notepad for my to-do lists. And then I will start to do that in order to keep me accountable and remind me that there are these little things that I need to do that will take two seconds if I just focus on them. So I definitely recommend writing lists. I know that sounds so obvious, <laughs> but for someone like me who is so unorganized and is, you know, pretty scatterbrained, that has been a really big help today. So until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and keep making beautiful things. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.